Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple crochet striped blanket. The free written pattern can be found on my website at julesandjones.com and you can find the link for that in the description box below. Let's get started. The materials that you're going to need to make this crochet stripe blanket is you are going to need three different colors of a number five bulky weight yarn. I use Lion Brand Hue Plus Me yarn in the color Desert, which is this color, Toast, which is a color brown, and Salt, which is a color white. You're also going to need an 8.0 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors to cut in between ends, and you're also going to need a darning needle to work in any tail ends. All right, let's start our pattern. So since this is a very large crochet blanket, I'm going to be just showing you how to make a swatch of the blanket. So in this swatch, I'm going to be showing you how to make the stitch for the blanket, as well as how to change colors. Okay, so if you want to follow along with the swatch, you want to go ahead and chain 12. And if you want to start the blanket, you want to go ahead and chain 144. And don't forget, you can always click that link in the description box below, and that'll bring you straight to the pattern with all the pattern notes and directions. Okay, so the pattern pattern starts off with the color desert. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this color here. And first what we need to do is make a slip knot. Okay, so for a slip knot, you want to go ahead and wrap the yarn around your finger twice. Take the back piece and push it over the front piece. Take the front piece, push it over the back and over your finger. Then pull tight, grab your crochet hook and pull tight one more time. All right, so now we have to start chaining 12 for our swatch. So go ahead and yarn over and pull through for your first chain. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so once we have twelve chains, we will be making our first row now. Okay, so for the first row, we want to make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one, two. So for a single crochet, go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through one more time. And that's your first single crochet. Now we want to chain one, skip the next chain, and make a single crochet in the following chain. So go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the last two loops, okay? And now all we want to do is just repeat this little pattern until the end of the row. So we are just going to chain one, skip the next chain and make a single crochet in the following chain. And that's it. So just continue to chain one, skip the next chain and make a single crochet in the following chain and just continue to do this until the end. All right, so now I've just completed my row one. All right, and now we're gonna start row two. For row two, we just want to chain one. We're gonna turn our work, so now we're working on the back side, and we wanna make one single crochet in the first stitch. So this is our first stitch right here, and we're gonna go ahead and make a single crochet. So go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through those last two loops for single crochet. Now we wanna make another single crochet in the chain space. So this is that chain space right here. So if you take your little swatch and you pull it apart, you should be able to see your chain space. Okay, so go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over and then yarn over, pull through the last two loops for another single crochet. All right, so now this is where our repeat starts for row two. So we are just going to chain one, skip the next stitch, which is our single crochet from the previous row, and make a single crochet in that chain space. All right, and that's our pattern repeat for row two. So just chain one, skip the next stitch, which is our single crochet, and make a single crochet in the chain space. Now just continue to do this until the end of the row. All right, I'm here towards the end of my row, and so you should have one stitch left, okay? And for this one, you just wanna put a single crochet at the end. 
All right, so that completes our row two. All right, so we just completed row two, so now we're gonna work on row three. So for row three, this will be the last row that I work the color desert in, and the second color we're gonna be using is toast. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you how to change colors seamlessly. So here we go, we're gonna chain one, we're gonna turn our work, all right, and we're gonna make a single crochet in that first stitch. All right, so go ahead and make your single crochet. Then we're gonna chain one, skip the next single crochet, and make a single crochet in that chain space. All right, and so now this is where our repeat starts for row three. So we're gonna chain one, skip the following single crochet, and make a single crochet in the chain space. Okay, so you wanna continue to do, the, do that until you reach the last stitch. Okay, because the last stitch is where we're gonna be changing colors. So we're gonna chain one, skip the following stitch, make a single crochet, chain one, skip the following stitch and make a single crochet. All right, and now we're just gonna chain one more. Okay, and now this is the part where we're at our last two stitches. So we have to make, we have to skip the following single crochet and make a single crochet in the last stitch. So, but we also need to change colors. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making an uncompleted single crochet. Okay, so if we're, I've already got my chain one. We're gonna go ahead and stick our hook in that stitch. We're gonna push the yarn over, okay? And we're gonna pull through. So you should have two loops on your hook. Then you wanna grab your other color, okay? And this is color toast or brown. And I'm just gonna insert it in my yarn bowl here. And I'm gonna grab this yarn and I'm gonna fold it like this. Okay, so my working yarn and then I consider this kind of like my tail end. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our working piece. We're gonna wrap the yarn over the crochet hook so it looks like this. Okay, so you just wanna push it over. All right, so I have my short end of the yarn on this side, on the right side, and then my long piece on the left side. And then all you wanna simply do is just pull through. And now you've completed your single crochet and changed colors. Okay, so now we just wanna chain one and now this is actually where our pattern repeat comes for the blanket. We are just gonna re repeat rows two and three. Okay, so we're gonna be doing this together. So I chain one, go ahead and turn your work. All right, and now we're gonna be completing a repeat of row two. Okay, so before we start making our repeat of row two for row four, we do need to go ahead and cut our desert color. Okay, so make sure you cut the right yarn, and this is my piece right here. All right, and I would just leave maybe three or four inches of it just so that you can work it in. All right, so I don't need that color anymore, so I'm just gonna stick it in here. All right, so now we're working with our toast color. Okay, so now we're just simply doing a repeat of row two, okay? So I have my new color in hand, and now you wanna go ahead and make a single crochet in that first stitch. All right, and now we're gonna be making a single crochet in the following stitch, because remember, that's where our chain space is. All right, and now this is where our repeat starts for row two. So go ahead and chain one, skip the next stitch, and make a single crochet in the following stitch. All right, so just continue to do that until the end of the row. All right, I'm here towards the end of my row now. And now all we have to do is just make one more single crochet. Okay, so let's chain one and let's work our row five, which is going to be a repeat of row three. So the stitch pattern is very easy for this blanket because you're just constantly repeating rows two and row three. Okay, so I went ahead and chained one. We're gonna make a single crochet in that first stitch. Skip the following stitch and chain one. Okay, then chain one again skip the following stitch and make a single crochet and then chain one skip the next stitch and make a single crochet and you just want to continue to do this until the end of the row okay so i'm actually already here so um, we have two single crochet left so make sure you go ahead and chain one because that was part of our repeat skip the next stitch and then make that single crochet 
All right, and I'm going to only do this one halfway because now I'm going to be changing colors. Okay, I'm going to be using the color salt now, which is in the pattern as well. All right. Okay, so I have the color salt here prepared. Okay, and we're going to be doing the exact same thing again. So we're just going to wrap the yarn over our hand like this. We're going to take the crochet hook, okay, and just wrap the yarn right over the crochet hook and pull through and just like that. And that's how you get a nice seamless color change at the end of your row. Okay, and then go ahead and chain one. And since we just completed a row three, okay, a repeat of row three for five, now we're just gonna do a repeat of row two. So since we already chained one, you're gonna make a single crochet in that first stitch, a single crochet in the following stitch, and then the repeat for row two starts by chaining one, skipping the next stitch, and making a single crochet in the following stitch. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that until the end of the row. All right, I'm here towards the end of my row. I've got one single crochet left, so I just need to make another single crochet in that previous single crochet. All right, so now I'm gonna work one more row with you all, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna just do work a repeat of row three now. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and make sure you cut your yarn. Okay, so we don't need that color right now. All right, so we just have white in hand and then you just want to chain one. We're gonna turn our work and now we're gonna be doing a repeat of row three. So you're just simply going to be single crocheting in that first stitch. You're going to chain one, skip the next stitch and make a single crochet in the following stitch. Then chain one, skip the next stitch and make a single crochet in the following stitch. And just continue to do that until your last stitch All right, and I'm making a single crochet in my last stitch. And that is basically how you crochet the blanket. It's that simple. Okay, so now all you wanna do is just head to the blog post and you will see all the pattern notes and directions on how to make this crochet blanket. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to make this crochet stripe blanket. This is actually the pattern. I just couldn't fit it all on camera because it's so big. But if you have any questions on how to make this, please leave them in the comment section and I'll make sure to answer them. And don't forget to check out jewelsandjones.com for more free crochet patterns. See you guys in my next video. Bye.